Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today is for people who own two Mac. Maybe people own an iMac or a Mac Mini, which they act as a desktop computer. And they also have a MacBook Pro, which basically makes them, you know, work on the go. Now, when you're a developer and you want to switch between Mac and MacBook Pro, there's a problem because the repository they clone on Mac Mini or iMac, but basically you will have to you will have to push the code from Mac Mini or iMac, and then from your MacBook you have to pull that from GitHub or Bitbucket, right? Now there's no syncing happening. There's there's ways that you can actually put your code into iCloud Drive, but there's a problem. When you have a Node.js project, you, you might have like, a, I don't know, maybe 50, maybe 10 megabytes of files, your code. But when you do an NPN install, you get about one gigabyte of packages that you download into your folder. Now they're gonna start syncing to iCloud and a lot of times you will install packages and those files will up get updated. And this is a big issue because your iCloud is keep syncing and you might just not update your content on both computers straight away because you know files have to sync first before it can sync your file. Found a way how you actually ignore a folder in iCloud and you basically don't sync that folder. I actually written uh, a script as well for that. This is what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's just say this is my repository. So let me reveal that in Finder, okay? So here is my repository. Right now, this repository is sitting in like my local hard drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this directory Go to my iCloud folder and I'm going to just create, let's just say, just demo. Okay. Now I'm going to paste that folder here. Now you will notice that this is syncing already. So there you go. So it's like saying 69 kilobyte, it's uploading. Now, whenever I make a change to this code, those files will get updated straight away. And if I'm going to go to, you know, work on a Mac Pro, I won't have to submit and push the code from this computer and then pull from a MacBook Pro. If I go inside this folder, okay? So let me go and open this folder in a VS Code. And you'll notice when I open a terminal and I do npn install, it's gonna create this node modules folder, which is this billion files there. So you don't want to sync that. So the way you can do that is by renaming node modules folder uh, with dot no sync. When you do an extension dot no sync, it will basically make sure that it will ignore it and it won't upload to iCloud. I have a script that I've written. So let me go and open that script as well. So, so these are the commands that I will have to do. Okay, and I have actually have an alias for this on that script here. So I'll do node sync. That's a script that I, so when I press enter this time, it actually ran that script and it created this node underscore module folders. Okay, and I created another folder, which is node underscore module folder. So you'll see the difference what's happening here. It's gonna right click and reveal that in Finder. So here we got two folders. You see this tick mark here? This one. Okay, it's basically saying it's it's like a, a type of uh, a link to which folder? This one. Now, if you notice, uh, this says ineligible, which means whenever you have a folder name and extension is dot no sync, iCloud Drive will basically ignore that and it will not sync that folder to your cloud drive. So this way, whenever I update this by using this script, it basically, you know, update the node module folder, but it does not really sync it. So this way I don't have to wait for all these node module packages and upload them into iCloud. So I don't wanna do that. I just wanna make sure that my code, which I write is basically getting synced. Really what I do is make a directory, node modules, and then we rename that to node modules and dot no sync. 
okay this one no sync then what we do is we create a sim link so i forgot the name that's sim link so the command for that is ln dash s so we'll say node underscore modules dot no sync is a sim link of node underscore module and then you do npn install so once you install that that basically gets installed into node module no sync folder instead of that so right now if i open up this folder it basically taking me to this folder no sync one there you go you see this so i clearly ignored this but because we had another folder which is a sim link for this it's it's working the code will actually work now if i make a change to my code here it will only sync that it will not sync this node underscore module dot no sync so I'm not really uploading somebody else code, which is not really part of my code to iCloud Drive. So it, it basically helps me to actually sync my code and work between different computers, actually more than any more than one computer. It doesn't have to be these two computers. So I hope this video helps and um, yeah, subscribe, like, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.